Babe, the cab is here. Let's get this show on the road. Babe? Babe? Oh, there you are. What's taking so long? Please tell me you're all packed, because if we've missed this flight, I'm... <laughs> Happy anniversary. <laughs> huh? Oh, yeah, no, it's fine. I was just thinking about how lucky I am. Especially to be the only girl who's gotten to do this for so long. It has undoubtedly been the best time of my life spending it here with you. Yeah. We made good picks. <laughs> Happy anniversary. Mwah. I love you. No, come on, you got everything you need? Come on, let's go! Meter's running, let's go! Crap! Almost forgot something. Go down, I'll meet you down to the cab. Go, 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 go! Whew. Okay, got it. Ready to go. Let's do this. Go, go, go. What do you mean? It's my proton pack. Duh. How else am I supposed to protect you from the ghost of Castle Dragonthorn? Wait, I know what you're thinking. But babe, the thing is way too small. Spot on impression, right? <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, but there was no way they were going to let me bring the big one on the plane. We'll just have to make do with the travel size one. It'll be fine, trust me. Yeah, obviously I know it's a dust buster. You know what, just... You know what? You know what? I'm bringing it, and you can thank me later. I do say so. I say so very much. You absolutely do sound like... You absolutely do sound like that. Don't even... Don't even go there. Don't even get me started. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Can you believe we're actually here? Wow. Look at this place. I mean, it's like someone took all of my ideas for my dream home and then threw them across the pond. They even kept the cobwebs. So cool. Yeah, our house is great. It's just... Anyways, I'm gonna go check us in. <laughs> you wait here and uh, soak up the atmosphere or something. Come on, get in the spirit. Hi there. I'm doing very well. Thank you for asking. I have a reservation under the name Vixie. Um, oh... There must be some mistake. I, of course, looking forward to staying in the Serafina room, but uh, that one was ridiculously out of our price range. What? You did this? Babe. You went behind my back and booked the most expensive room in the castle knowing full well that it would smack us with a debt that we may never recover from? You're the best. You. Mwah. <laughs> Love how sneaky you can be sometimes. Huh? Oh, did you hear that, babe? The guy says you bear a striking resemblance to Lord Cutler. That's awesome. Who's Lord Cutler? Oh, okay. Cool. There's a book. <clears throat> According to legend, Lord Bolton Cutler, much like Devlin Dragonthorn was a man of noble blood who could get his hands on anything he desired. But unlike Dragonthorn, Lord Cutler was not pure of heart, and therefore was sent down a path in life of study and mastery of the darkest magics man had ever known. It is said that he, disgusted as he was by the boundless love between Devlin and, his, and Serafina, used his dark magic so that the two could never be together. Ooh, wow, I might be dating a distant relative of a warlock whose dark magic made Seraphina Dragonthorn vanish into the forest. <gasps> Ooh, I think I'm gonna pass out. Hold on. <sighs> Will do. Thank you so much for helping us. Yes, 
Yes, we'll take the key and go right up to our room. Oh my God. Oh Lord, there it is again. Hold on. Help me up. Help me. Yeah, I could tell he kind of freaked you out, honey. But I really wouldn't worry about it if I were you. He probably just gets paid like eight bucks an hour to sit there and tell every guy who walks in that they look just like Lord Cutler. Because, you know, there's no way you two are actually related. How do I know? Because he said that Lord Cutler wasn't pure of heart, and you are the purest heart of anyone I know. Hence, why you get to spend so much time with me. <laughs> Oh, here it is. Serafina's bedroom. <laughs> wow. Now this is a bedroom. Oh, imagine the stories this place could tell. <sighs> Hang on. Of course, one of the first steps I take, it's a loose floorboard. Here, let me... Of course, there's something hidden under here. Check this out. I don't know what it is. It's some sort of book. It looks really old, but I can still make out the... It's Serafina's diary. Yes, way. Oh my god, I think this is... I think this, this really is the real deal, not just some, like, prop they put here for the tourists. The last entry is a letter to Devlin about Lord Cutler. I, I, I will read it. Just give me a second. Hold on, hold on. <clears throat> My dearest Devlin, if you are reading this, it means I have failed to return from picking flowers in the forest. As I promised you, I would. It is with the heaviest hearts that I must confess that I will never ever be able to return to the castle. For you see that I have promised my body and soul to Bolton Cutler. Please know, my darling, that this decision was not made out of a change of heart. I vow to love you, just as I always have, until the end of my days and for every second for the eternity that waits me afterwards. Lord Cutler has sworn to me that unless I allow him to use his dark magic to separate us by locking me in the forest and you in the castle until the end of time, he will set fire to the whole of this earth and gleefully watch it burn until not a single thing of beauty remains. Though it pains me beyond words to know that I will never again feel the warmth of your skin pressed against mine as I hold you in my arms and fall asleep to your sweet whispers in my ear, I pray that you understand and forgive me for not being able to bear the thought of so many innocent lives being lost, being lost by my hand. As my departing words to you, my love, I beg that you find the strength to carry on without me. Open these castle gates in your heart to those who wish to enter and enjoy the time you have left in this world. Perhaps someday, by some miracle, we will meet again in blissful paradise. All my love, Serafina. And that's where it ends. God, it's crazy to think that this might this actually might be the last thing she wrote. I'm trying to tell him something. I mean, I guess it's a good note to go out on, right? Babe, are you crying? Oh, come here. Tell me what's wrong. I, I know. Yeah, it's a really sad story. It's sad that they have been apart for each other for so long. And it's even sadder that Devlin just couldn't seem to make it out without her. And it's even sadder that Devlin just couldn't seem to make it without her by his side. But maybe we can help. Well, if Devlin can't get to Serafina in the forest himself, maybe we can bring him to her. Maybe that'll be enough to break whatever spell they're under. Yeah, I mean, come on. It feels like the right thing to do, considering we're here to celebrate our own love and everything. Plus, I think it could be a really badass adventure. Come on! Perfect. Yay! We'll handle it in the morning. For now, take my hand. Take me to bed or lose me forever. <laughs> <laughs>
Uh-huh. Looking at my neck. Is it gonna keep me awake? Oh, what if I try nipping on yours? Alright, that might help. 